Hi, hi readers, this is Brad Wells of Stampede Blue and SB Nation, and the Indianapolis Colts won their ninth victory today over the Tennessee Titans 27 to 23, right? Yeah, 27 to 23. The Colts won this game after coming out in the first half and really playing very, very sloppy football. And for reasons that really just sort of mystify me, they started Seth Olsen today at left guard. And Olsen didn't play too well in the first half. Andrew Luck was hit early, often, and hard. And I mean really hard. And the Titans jumped out to a 7-0 lead, due in large part to Jake Locker going 6-for-6 six six on his opening drive, including an 18-yard touchdown pass to Jared Cook. However, the Colts responded, and they responded with a four-yard touchdown pass from Andrew Luck to Reggie Wayne. Now on this play, Andrew Luck play faked, and the Titans linebackers bit hard, and I mean really hard on the play fake, and Reggie Wayne was wide open in the back of the end zone for the touchdown on the slant pattern. And the reason why the Titans bit so hard on that play is because on the previous play, which was first and goal from the one, the Colts were in a run-heavy formation, a power set, and the Titans stuffed them for a minus three yards. The Colts came back out on second down, play fake, touchdown, Colts tie the game. It didn't really help them all that much, though, in the sense that throughout the rest of the first quarter, first half, I should say, Colts just didn't play well. And in particular on one play where Andrew Luck just threw an awful interception, and I mean an awful interception to Will Witherspoon, who returned it 40 yards for a touchdown. Now, Luck was trying to get out of pressure and was running to his left, and he had the option to either try and run for the first down or throw it. And at, at the last moment, he just decided to throw it. And when he did throw it, Witherspoon picked it off and ran it back. Now, on further review, it looks like Andrew Luck's knees were down on the carpet. And when your knees are down on the carpet before you throw the ball, yeah, that means that the pick didn't count. But for reasons that mystify, the referees decided that they were going to uphold the pick six. It was upheld, and the Colts went into halftime, and they were down, and they were down big. So that means the game is over. Right, you know, this game's over. They're not going to win the game. <laughs> Please. Please, please. This is, this is the 2012 season. The Colts seem to come back from every type of, you know, situation that they're in. They outscored the Titans 20-3 to in the second half. And one of the big reasons why is that on the first drive going into the third quarter, the first drive for the Colts in the third quarter, they mixed in a lot of draw plays, which really took the rush pressure off of Andrew Luck. And it culminated in a one-yard touchdown play run by Delone Carter. But that really wasn't the big play in the second half. The big play was an interception by Cassius Vaughn on the Titans one yard line that he returned for a touchdown. Now if you watch the play, Jake Locker, who had played very well up until that throw, simply waits a little too long to get the throw out and Vaughn is just sitting on the route. He stands right there, picks the ball off, waltzes into the end zone for six points. It's not that much unlike Darius Butler's pick six in the Jacksonville Jaguars game in week 10, Thursday night football. And speaking of Darius Butler, he had an interception as well in the fourth quarter. And in many ways, this was a, a gigantic interception because if the Titans had scored on that drive, the, they might have gotten back in the football game, might have won. But he picked the ball off, returned it to the Titans 35 yard line. And it was an interesting play because Locker was pressured on the play, rolled to his right, and, try, and threw the football. And Nate Washington, who was battling with Butler down the field, he seemed to expect the ball to go towards the sideline. If you see his turn, he goes towards the sideline. Ball didn't go to the sideline. Locker threw it inside. Butler stepped right in front of it, intercepted it, returned to the Titans 35 yard line. The Colts on the next drive would get an Adam Vinatieri field goal from 40 yards out. Vinatieri also had a 53 yard field goal. Yeah, it's pretty clear that the old man has no leg anymore. No leg, just, it's just a noodle down there. Colts would then get the ball back with about 2.42 left in the game, and that's when they would effectively ice it, and they iced the game by running the ball and running the ball extremely well on both second down plays. On that fourth quarter drive, the last drive, Vic Ballard had runs of 13 yards and a run of 11 yards to really ice the game and force the Titans to take all of their timeouts. After the two-minute warning, the Colts were in the victory formation, ball game, Colts win, and I think if I have to pick a uh, best player of the game or player of the game, it has to be Vic Ballard. The defense played extremely well, especially in the second half. But Vic Ballard's 19 rushes for 94 yards really iced the game, especially in the fourth quarter. And this was just a big, big, huge win. And the reason why is because the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals lost today. And this means the Colts are two games up on those other two teams in the wild card hunt. And if the Houston Texans lose, don't know if they will or not on Monday night, then the Colts would actually be in control of their own destiny to win the AFC South, and that's nuts.
Colts, after a 2-14 season last year, have nine wins this year. They have a winning season after going and being completely inept the season before. It's a remarkable turnaround, and a big reason why for this game wasn't necessarily Andrew Luck, but it was the play of the team overall. And that's great. It was a great game to watch. I'm a little exasperated. For Stampede Blue and SB Nation, I'm Brad Wells.